Pretension or Pretension, all you need to hear. Welcome back to your Patrol's Review. In this episode, we look at the film Star Hunter, a uh, low-budget sci-fi horror film star directed by Cole McKay and Fred Olin Ray. Of course, Fred Olin Ray is that uh, crack by the director who will see some of his films later on. Now, in this episode, we're going to play this as a little film clip. This DVD is from Ram Multimedia, which is a cheap $2 DVD label. I've explained some of the some of the film some of the discs before. Okay, let's pick a chapter. Now it's on mute, so you can hear my voice. Uh -uh. All right. Now, uh, now for the story: a group of high school students being driven home from a losing football game by their coach, when their uh, minibus breaks down a rough part of town. They attempt to find help but encounter a blind man who claims to be a hunter. The man turns out to be an alien creature who's just escaped from an alien prison and is on Earth to hunt humans' as game. He activates a force field that keeps the students trapped within the city block of abandoned buildings in a rough part of town and sticks on them his hunting tool, the Star Hunter, an alien robot that hunts by sonar waves and is almost impossible to destroy thanks to its regenerative powers. As the Star Hunter pursues them through the dilapidated buildings, the students, armed with a small arsenal of firearms they stole from the alien's base, attempt to come up with a plan to defeat the robot, all the while unaware that one of their number has just been possessed by a friendly alien who is trying to stop the hunters from killing humans. Now, this film is a low-budget C-grade knockoff of the classic sci-fi action horror film Predator, my ultimate favorite film. Star Hunter is pretty rough going if you're not the sort of person who likes to watch cheap rip-offs of big budget films or annoyed by anything that looks like it was made for the princely sum of about, about 20 bucks. But for us bad movie fans, this is like manna from heaven, despite not being quite terrible enough to qualify as a true bad movie classic. Now, Star Hunter is simply structured and surprisingly robust in the story area. A group of teenagers are trapped within a section of abandoned buildings in Los Angeles and hunted down by an alien robot that uses sonar waves to hunt by sound. This ultimately proves to be its weakness when the surviving teens finally figure out that they can come up with a decent plan to stop it. Some might query the idea of an alien robot that uses a shotgun as a hunting tool, but given that the average shotgun is a short-range weapon that fires a wide cone of buckshot of a range of about 30 meters, proving to be deadly enough for anybody within that short range, so much so that, the, that even a blind person or a sound hunting robot can score a kill well. As well as long as they know the general direction in which to aim the thing, and certain enough that the target is close enough. That is, the film is essentially a predator cross hatch of the likes of Friday the 13th. It works pretty much in that regard. There is some mild tension to some of the hunting scenes, and some reasonably minimalist implied gore. Like the mighty Yotia of the Predator films, this robot likes to sever heads for trophies. But then again, any big hunter does that. If you watch this later on in the scene where the teens throw the Molotov cocktails at the robot, if you listen carefully and you can hear the guy in the suit crab and pain when one of the firebombs hits in the back of the head. I was laughing my head off when I noticed that. The film has some stock footage from other films, mainly sourced from Roger Corman, and the production values are pretty minimalist in general. While the film lacks the professional polish and the budget to elevate it anywhere above being utterly mediocre, it is however decent enough to warrant not being labeled a true bad movie. Well, at least not a terrible one, despite having some of the trademarks of 1990s C-grade bad movies. The acting is pretty lame. Stella Stevens and Ronnie McDowell must have been really hard up for the money to star in this one. And the story drags whenever we turn over to see what the cops and local precincts are doing. And the visual effects, given the budget, uh, it's effectively terrible. But Star Hunter does have a certain cheap charm to it that it does make it a pretty modest intriguing C-grade bad sci-fi cheapy. As for the gore, there are some severed heads but a little blood and almost no gore. As for nudity, Wendy Schumacher, you won't see in this clip because she's already dead, who later uh, played and starred in several friend of mine right films under the name Alexander Keith, and also bears his body pretty much in those films. Get a, it her breasts get a peek here, but that's about it really. I give Star to a D, plus, which is a 3 out of 10, meaning it's a disappointing, cheap slasher movie version of Predator, but not entirely bad enough to be unwatchable. Cheesy to a large degree. Now, as for the DVD, this was issued in Region 4 originally by Flashback Entertainment as part of the singles and multi-pack releases, 
Before the majority of Flashback's old catalogue was reissued by Rome Multimedia, a short-lived subsidiary of Palace Entertainment. As for Star Hunter, the print is surprisingly good, despite the, given that the DVD literally costs about two bucks, and despite having despite having Rome's trademark simple but clunky menu and playback design, the first chapter is not listed in the chapter selection submenu. Once you begin playback, you cannot skip back a chapter, forcing you to manually backtrack in order to rewatch something. The disc is pretty effective enough to be either a bargain basement bargain or guilt free novelty coaster. Your choice. Like I said, it's a D. Plus, so. I mean, so the ba that's Roy McDowell right there. And that's these effects. Like I said, these effects are pretty terrible. But then again, this is like low budget 1990s stuff. Now I'm going to put on the sound so you just watch the rest of this clip. Now they're using fall to this to confuse the robot because it's hunts by sound. This motion is a little stilted, I apologize. Actually, a pretty stupid trip over that. There's that sucker. Now, in order to kill the alien, it has an amulet around its neck, which is a, uh, which provides the regenerative powers. In the end, they pr practically crack that thing. Oh, there's a foil. There, there he goes, he yells out in pain. That ain't gonna stop him. Good luck trying that. Won't work. This has a rock. See that right there. That's where the amulet is. <laughs> oh man. I can't cut through this stuff. It's as hard as a rock. No kidding. It's blowing it. There's regenerative powers. It's healing itself. How long do you think that'll take? Four or five minutes? I don't know, but we don't want to be here. Yeah. Come on. Neither do I. So that's basically Star Hunter. A really, really cheap, but not entirely terrible knockoff of Predator. Anyway.
I hope you enjoyed that review. And that's it. That's it for this review.